Welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be talking about skin tones and I will show you a professional tool that can help you adjust skin tones and match them across multiple shots. This tool is called Skin Tone Scope and it's a part of Nope Omniscope from Time in Pixels. Nope Omniscope scopes have been trusted by the biggest production and post-production houses around the globe, like Netflix, Warner Brothers or Company Free. So if you are also looking for perfection and precision, this is something for you. And now I have a special discount for you, so you can get 15% off all Time in Pixels products using my promo code Kasha Scopes and my affiliate link below this video. I personally use the Pro license, but there are also photo and video licenses. So have a look at Time in Pixels website and decide what's best for your work. Now let's move to the main part of the video. So here I have two clips on my timeline. I have already adjusted the skin tones for this one, but here we have the unbalanced shot as well, as I will use this clip to show you how to match the skin tones with the previous clip. So let's go back to this one, and also I think it is worth to mention that Nope Omniscope scopes are compatible not only with DaVinci Resolve, but also with other softwares like Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, Photoshop or Final Cut, which is great, and obviously they are compatible with both Mac and Windows systems. And today I will show you how I use my scopes as a plugin in DaVinci Resolve. So what I do, I simply apply the plugin to the separate node, but I don't do it on a clip level, I do it on a timeline level. And then if you don't have a node created yet, just create one hitting option S. And by applying the effect to the node on a timeline level, it will affect all of the clips on our timeline. It is like a layer that's been applied to all clips we currently have on our timeline. So just to demonstrate it quickly, when I, for example, change the offset quite dramatically, like this, the same effect is applied to this first clip as well. But let's reset it and let's grab the Nope Omniscope from the Effects tab and let's just drop it onto this node. Also, it's very important to mention that we can't apply any other effects on the node with the Omniscope and it's not going to work, so just make sure that you have it separately. And now I'll just open my Nope Omniscope. Perfect, and let's make it bigger. And this is the layout that I have created previously. When you first launch the scopes, you'll have it blank and you'll be able to build your own layout. Nope Omniscope offers 90 different scopes that have a variety of different functions and I will talk about it a bit later. Now we'll be focusing on the skin tone scope over here. And let's also make it smaller. And then I can also move all of these windows around like this. And then when I play my clips, I can also see how my scopes react. But let's make it bigger again. And now I will show you exactly how to use the skin tone scope for matching the skin tones on all clips on your timeline. So let's just right click and let's go to the settings over here. And now the first thing we need to do is to adjust this green mask to match the skin tones. The skin tones on this clip have already been adjusted. So to demonstrate you, Let's close it. I can read from the vector scope that the skin tones lay nicely on the skin line, which means that they are properly balanced and natural. And also there's one cool feature here. When I highlight a part of the skin holding the tap key like this, I can isolate it. And then only this part of the skin will appear on all of my scopes. And I can also easily zoom it in and out to be able to see better my trace. This is how precise these scopes are. And also, I have divided my vector scope into low range, mid range and high range to be able to see the shadows, mythos and highlights separately. But if you want to have a traditional view of the vector scope, similar to what we have in DaVinci Resolve, just right click and deselect split. Okay, and again we can view the part of the skin on the vector scope. Now I'll go back to the previous view and let's go back to the skin tone scope settings and let me walk you through it. So first we have here two models, the HSL model that separates the color data from the brightness or grayscale details in an image, 
creating an optimal setup for making intuitive and targeted grading adjustments. And then we have a YCBCR model that is based on the broadcast standard model that is perfect for broadcast standard deliverables. But let's use the HSL model today. Then we have two sliders that we use to refine the exact hue range. So let's move it a bit to adjust the mask better with the skin tones. Like this. Then let's select the saturation and luminosity limits. And here we have more refining tools. Here we can use these sliders to adjust the saturation and the luminosity. So let me do this. Basically, I'm trying to match the mask with the skin tones as close as it is possible. Like this. Now we can also select gray background that will turn everything outside the selection gray. And this can be helpful when we want to focus better on the skin tones. For example, when we have a very colorful shot. And then we can also select apply mask. And this will remove all parts of the shot that don't qualify as a skin tone and will replace it with a black mat. And this is also very helpful as now this mask has been applied to all of other scopes so we can closely observe only the skin tones on all other scopes as well. And also let me show you a very cool feature here actually. So when I hold the option key I am able to see the clip overlaid on the scopes. I can exactly see what areas of the clip will be affected when adjusting shadows, midtones and highlights. I personally find it very helpful. But coming back to our skin tone scope here we also have the overlay mode and first we have a grid then here we can also change the color of it if we want to i never do it then we have a solid color which is good to use when for example your subject is far from the camera and you want to be able to see the mask properly then we have a two gradients mode that represents the skin tone range so as a default the parts of the gradient highlighted in red show skin tones that are closer to magenta and those highlighted in green show the skin tones that are closer to yellow. Then we have free gradients which also shows the mid-tones so it's a bit more precise than two gradients and then at the end we have free colors so it's another representation showing the same range using solid colors and then here we can also change the transparency of the mask. But let's go back to the grid. And here we can also adjust the transparency. And then now we can also select the low pass, which will reduce the overlay noise a bit caused by the compression of our eclipse. So I'll just slide it up. Okay. And now let me show you how we can use this mask to adjust the skin tones across all shots on the timeline. So I will turn off the mask here for now. And let me make this window smaller to be able to see our clips on the timeline. And basically, in order to match the skin tones on multiple shots, once we have our mask adjusted, we have to make sure that, that this mask matches the mask on the other shots. So when we go here to the second clip, we can tell that we don't have much of the green overlay covering skin tones. So we need to make it align with the skin tones using our grading tools. And I will use the adjustment node that I've created before to adjust the skin tones of this clip. And I will use my primary wheels to match the skin tone scope with the skin tones. I will start with the offset. Okay, and then I can see I need to use the lift. And look what's happening with the skin tone scope. The grid is slowly aligning with the skin tones. Okay. And let's compare our clips. Perfect. And this is before and after. It is a very easy process. Now let me tell you a little bit more about other Nope Omniscope scopes. So as I've mentioned, there's 19 different scopes to choose from. We can also easily build our own layout. Then we can add as many scopes as we want to our layout. So let's grab the well-known CIE plot. And then we can see all of these blue indicators that will show us where we can place the scope on the grid. I will just drop it here. Now let's grab another scope, maybe 3D cube. 
this is a great one. It allows to see the hue, saturation and the luminance values of our clip simultaneously in the 3D space, which is a great new approach, but I will not be explaining today how we can use it as there's a bunch of tutorials on Time in Pixels YouTube channel if you're interested. So please go there if you want to know more. Then we have, for example, our previously mentioned vector scope. And I love that we can see the shadows, midtones and highlights separately here. Then also we can easily swap our scopes. So when I right click, I can change this scope for something else like the waveform or twin peaks. And twin peaks is another great scope that is actually only available when you purchase the pro version of the Nope Omniscope, but it's really worth it as this scope helps us to see and understand very clearly the color distribution and balance of our shot. And if you want me to create a video about it, let me know in the comments below. If not, go to the Time in Pixels YouTube channel and have a look at the tutorial over there. But now let's maybe go back to the vector scope and let's turn off the split mode. And now what I also really like is the false color scope where I basically quickly check the exposure levels. So here, if some parts of this clip were yellow or red, we would know that the clip is overexposed. So let me demonstrate it to you. So I'll go here and I will push the gain up. You see, this is how the scope is reacting to all of these changes. And I obviously haven't walked you through all of the features of this amazing product. If you want to see more videos covering Nope Omniscope, please let me know in the comments. And if you love the product, don't forget that you can get 15% of it using my promo code. See you on the next one.